There we go. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Leon today, along with... PSM First Mate Drakir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday, where, well, we showcase a few games, typically for, for about half an hour each. Uh, some we do shorter, and this one is probably going to be one of those. So I always have some backups installed as well. And uh, yep. yeah, the first game we're starting with is Craft the World. Something hmm. I actually also played. <laughs> and yeah, Which... I, yep, go ahead. So I should probably do a public announcement for people who might plan to buy this. There's currently a bug that if you install it, it may become Russian, which means you may... And there's a big chance if you try to reinstall it, it won't work. Even if you set it to English, if you reinstall it to Russian. So you have to go into the code and fix it. Yeah, no Can clue what's lucky here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but for some reason that's not w going on with uh, <clears throat> with my copy currently. So, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, how, how I would describe this game, and for, why is my avatar just... Give me a second here. Okay. There we go. Are you going to stay awake now? <laughs> Uh, anyway, from what little I played of this game, I would call this like a, a sort of in between between okay, still in an in between between Terraria and Dwarf Fortresses. Yeah, uh, with a hint oh, of right. Minecraft, but only a hint. Yeah, though it has been a long time since I played this game, so I completely forgot what there is to do. Uh, there is there is no. Well, there's, I think there's some random generation going on, but there is, yeah, these are levels, so let's go choose level. We can create a new game, a new campaign, yeah. and yeah, land one, two... I play this way more than Helian, but even I... I can see this, we not streaming this, and also I should also mention that this game was developed by Russian team. A reason why it may not be the uh, bug I mentioned earlier not be fixed yet is probably due to, uh, I guess yeah, people, everyone can guess why. Definitely, yeah. Okay, so we'll give this game a few minutes at the very least to have sh well shown it. Let's hello, see. Congratulations, hello. we did. It. Oh, hello there, Ram. Hello, Ram. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> Uh, doing pretty well. Uh, I haven't gotten to putting your new avatar in yet. Sorry about that. I wasn't really expecting you to show up today. Fine, don't worry about it. Um... So, I beat Metro 2033 yesterday. Yep. <laughs> you nuked the place. It's... Yeah, you can, you can blame the... Uh... There's a hidden morality system in place. Yeah. And the problem is, it's hidden, so the player doesn't know, and you don't even know where, what points you go to which thing, and just, you just wind up getting by default the nuke everyone ending. Yeah, from what I remember, because I played through the first and second games, uh, when you do something that it does affect the morality system, there is supposed to be a light flash on the screen with a sound, but in some places it's easily drowned out, I believe. Much. I saw the flash at times, but other times, like, I did an action and everything else was around me, so I didn't really notice the flash, so it just sort of... It's kind of hard to notice. Okay, <laughs> Captain Octopiratus, <laughs> that's a bit out of left field. Okay, ghost... What the... Captain of a ghost is trapped by the lighthouse. It's unclear, however, as to who's really in charge, the captain or the octopus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this game does have humor. And I don't know much about Met Metro. I've I seen a bit of it, but I never f finished watching it. So this is not a game I would play. Let's see. It looks like the worlds aren't randomly generated, like I suspected they might be. Well, the shape will be like a terrain and all that, but you have to pick what world you want to use. But if you go campaign, you go one at a time, basically. So you can't take there. 
We can dig here though. Yeah, so you can never you, you can't dig directly on the trees block right under the spawn thingy. You need to go one block below it to dig it uh, dig under it. Okay. Might as well Okay, we can't dig there either, or is that because it's not linked or something? Yeah, it's not linked. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah. For how this game is, I'll leave that description up to Drakir, because it is a bit of a slow game, as you can see. Uh, it's these colony survival-like things. Yeah. And it has a mod tool that I actually used uh, just to make my game easier, but still... Okay, it is it fun, fun, but not perfect, and I, I will give it critics when it's due. Like, they, I think you all saw earlier there was a lot of DLCs. Yep. Something they have done annoyingly is many fixes and such are in the DLCs. Yeah, and the multiplayer as well. However, the patch that they add a new, a lot of new gear into several classes was actually for once not a DLC. However, it was also the last patch they added before a certain world drama happened, which I guess halted the uh, development further on this game. Yeah. Like, it is not terrible from my own experience with it, but it might just not be for everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> I, I just, I know, I discovered it on YouTube, I just watch it to relax, and I, it sort of half turned off my brain. <laughs> okay, now that we've got some resources to make that club here, or we but, will have the moment he Yeah, I will say, it's a, it's a fun game, you just want to half turn off your brain a bit. But the developers are, but no, they're not horrible, they have definitely been... Uh, a bit of uh, maybe not the best marketing. Yeah, like there is there is multiplayer in this game, but you need to buy a DLC for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a that's a small example, and some for some reason even some bug fixes were in the DLCs. Again, they are extremely cheap, which is good. Just mm. yeah, shouldn't be done like that. I'm not really a of having to pay for multiplayer. Yeah, no one should. That's probably why I don't have a subscription on my console sense. Why Why would I need to pay a subscription to play multiplayer on a Switch or PlayStation or Xbox? That's, I feel stupid. Okay. Just... <clears throat> Sorry. Just, uh... I don't know, I... That's kind of why I prefer, like, when it comes to, like, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, I just prefer playing on the PS3 multiplayer because, you know, it... Yeah, I, I don't have to pay money. Yeah, the... If you don't know anything I like about PS3 is, if I bought a, a physical copy, put it in, into the machine, it will update the game, no problem. Do I have a PS4? I need to have a PS4 to update any game with any patch. Was my okay. problem early days on PS4 for it took me a while before I bothered to get a PS4 hack. Which meant I had a lot of games with a lot of bugs. Uh. <laughs> Oh, okay, there needs to be a bit of room above it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's cancel all of these then, make these a, this a too high shelter. Uh, again, no. this is a sort of relaxing game. It's not bad. Like, it's just one gig. Oh. With all DLCs, as far as I know. And it's rather cheap as well. True. So you, don't, you won't feel like you overpaid just... Again, I will just criticize the marketing tactic that some fixes are in the DLCs and the multiplayer being a DLC is questionable. Mm, yeah. 
Let's see. Let's put this down now. We have it put down. Uh, but yeah, you can see why this part of this can be seen as a bit dwarf fortressy mixed with Terraria, as in you can't fully control. You don't, don't freaking dive <laughs> down there. Actually, cancel all of these and dig that first. Uh, ta -ta -ta, until it has back walls and side walls, plus a door or hatch. Yeah, yeah. It, this game is simple enough. Uh, wooden hatch, we need more... Well, we need a bunch of wood for that. We already have that now. Or we're going to have that made. Okay, it's already made. And we put... Yes, tell them to put that there. Hopefully, by removing that block, they won't fall down anymore. Because this one is not going to survive. Click, not there, that... Yeah, that one. Uh, Street to increase the speed at which objects are made from stone. Okay. Yeah, you can give those to dwarves so they get a secondary class up to third class, which makes them better at doing something. Just always be careful because they are usher, warrior, and mage. You don't want those on the same character. Yeah, combat things would uh, be best spread out. <laughs> No, you don't end up with someone having to multitask spells and fighting. Exactly, since you want front lines, archer, and spell courses separately. But use the other things freely. Just always make sure that one each dwarf has at least one combat related book. And Helian and... really butchered the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's the, at least it's keeping them from falling to their death at the moment. And yeah. yeah, we can equip different stuff like RPG a lot easier than it is to equip stuff in Dwarf Fortress. And yeah, I, I think this should give a decent feeling of this game. You, you can guess most of what is going to happen. There's going to be monsters to you know, hunt down. And I don't really know how to actually progress to different levels here. I'm guessing mostly it's just complete all of the tasks. You, you do task, you find a portal, find the portal parts, then you teleport to the next world. Ooh, hello, combat. And I think this is popular a lot. Same to do too. But this came out, it was only this and Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, there are a lot of side games. Uh, there's a lot of similar games. Uh, okay, but more of dwarf <laughs> themed ones. There has been other dwarf games Ooh, that were rather big map, but this one was more and more popular. But there are, there are more dwarf games coming out that are. Hopefully a bit more fun. Like, this is still fun, but all the worst games coming out are... At least trying to do something new. Okay, uh... First night we're already getting assaulted by a bunch of dwarves. <laughs> Not dwarves, yeah, by a bunch of skeletons. You were very slow with almost Got everything. Oh, uh, well. We've seen enough, but... and we know that these are going to die at this rate. <laughs> Yeah, we will not stream this for this is one of those you maybe do a YouTube series on, but I thought we maybe we'll do that. Yeah. So let's move on to the second game we have prepared for today. Okay. Give me a second. Oh. Yeah. Crawl. And before I continue any further, I forgot. Once again, I forgot one single freaking thing, and that was to go to Do Not Disturb on Steam. Yeah. All right. Can you come on? And Steam. Crawl, I recognize this. Why do I recognize this name? Okay, for some reason, Steam is not responding to stuff. I think I want to have that happen to me once. Close that off. Reopen that. Come on. Okay. Is, is it having a fit because the, there's a game open? It shouldn't be the case. Like, let's see. There. If, okay, for some reason the friends list just does not want to work, it seems now. Like, the, everything else seems to work, but not that. So... Yeah, we'll have to keep with that a bit more then. Uh, anyways, yeah, as you can see, this is one of these kinds of games. Ooh. Like a... <clears throat> like a Binding of Isaac and such. 
Okay, I may have seen some YouTube play this then. Possibly Splattercat. Okay, uh... Okay, it wasn't responding to the mouse there. Let's see. Uh, shall we go short with this or give it the full half hour-ish? Go short with this one, but this one should probably be rather easy to show off within 10-15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, see there. Yeah, very obviously we can do go up if need be. Uh, let's just... Typical three. Oop. Hello, we get CPUs. Okay. Oh, I think I remember now something with this game. What makes it different than the others. So let's go with just two CPUs at the moment. We have you know, simple controls, attack and special. Yes. Uh, let's see. Worships. Uh, let's see. We have Teak. Monsters are stronger. Merkin enters with Thieving Knife. Goloth. Plus 25 trap damage on... Uh, oh. We'll see what the beasts underneath are once we get in a bit. Because, yeah, this is meant to be a game that plays with and against friends. Let's see. Kill beasts, collect their life force to level up. Reach level 10 to activate the portal. Beat, defeat the boss and escape the pit. Yeah, it's, this is a not. <laughs> this is a competitive they'd come, game. They'd long since forgotten, and the evil in the catacombs drags at their will, fracturing their sanity. Yeah, the, the very first thing you have to do <laughs> is kill each other, and this we actually lost there. Will not let him flee so easily. But the game isn't over yet. Because now you can mess around with things like this. Like making traps. And okay. I think I just may have seen game stumps or someone uh, play this then. Yeah, and we can be the monsters they have to fight. <laughs> and when the player is defeated... You're suddenly the target. And it looks like it's sort of going by the mouse alone with this. That's anything we need to smash around here. And some gold, some life force. So I'm probably going to... Oh no, that, that was the experience bar, not the health bar that I was seeing. Uh, blacksmith. No idea of any... Fuck it, go with that. And, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I suddenly hope worst pre-made ever plays this. <laughs> uh, seeing oh. them attempt, if they haven't done so already, would be utterly hilarious. Yeah, ju just imagine the chaos. Yep. Um, yep, and there they got me. Okay. Come on, there we go. Wait, what? It says you may never gain a figure as long as you have the ghost with you, you can come back. Yep. Ah, that is true. Oh, okay, where is he? Oh, <laughs> we left some junk in there. Uh, what are you getting? Hey, You're getting a ship. And a spell. Uh, wait, there's a dodge roll? <laughs> okay. Look at the controls. I would not be surprised if wait. some part of this is how much the old games, especially games like Battletoads, where the even if you try to cooperate, it's somehow end up killing each other, either accidentally or just... Just to be a arse. Okay, we can spend our wrath to upgrade our monsters as well, it seems. Uh, no idea what each of these doing. This is looking like a satyr. 
God, that, yeah. The thing with most of the games just... They made I something the Provos in the feature meant as a feature here with the players attacking each other. <laughs> okay, let's. Come on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Some sort of tadpole. Oh, this one spits. Okay, I think this would probably be easier to control if I was using it while controller. Okay. Get moving, uh, let's see. To ideally minus one. Nice. Let's go with the great sword. <laughs> okay, and it, this is definitely a game to play with and against friends. Hey, you want next time you wanna try it out? If you wanna try it out, I can buy it so we can win. I think it was pretty cheap, so yeah, if you'd be willing to. I, I, I'd be glad to. Uh, I would not play it, but I would so co commentate on that. <laughs> see, ghost collects ectoplasm to gain followers. Press B to turn a follower into a blob. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely would want to use the controller with this. Okay, this is where the boss is, and but we need level 10 to get this, so we're going to need to keep fighting amongst each other. <laughs> that is done. But this is basically a, a dungeon crawler mixed with uh, Highlander. There can be only one. Oh, that... That is surprisingly fitting a description. <laughs> okay, and the special is the dodge roll. I think I just barely dodged something there. I do have one concern with this game. Mm -hmm. be, maybe you both might agree on? That would be... Uh, that this game could end up being one of those that destroys friendships. <laughs> yeah, Mario Party. Okay. Wait, what? That, that's where the whole thing originate from? Mario Party? Uh, that oh, no, is what people call it a lot. Just had one hit. What did you say that wrong? Offering the like. Did you throw yourself back into the blacksmith? Yeah, there, there was the AI that did that. <laughs> okay. Did he just teleport back a level? Uh, how? There we go. I'm not sure if we can actually select our monster there or not, or if it's random. It might be random. And now it's the other guy. And... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a constant back and forth like this. Spear? <laughs> okay, th this might be uh, something to stream for just party streams. Just buffing about. I almost hate him with oh. that. Yeah, you, you, you just uh, you just have to keep money, everyone. Uh, this is in good fun. Yeah, definitely had a disadvantage with the crowd. Oh, and now it's the other one again. Or wait, now it's me. That's locked. Alright, sure. This mushroom is leaving behind <laughs> goop every time. Oh, for a moment I thought I was the one that died. What is with this? Okay, that just teleports us over to the blacksmith as well. Uh, let's just get this spear then. Okay, I'm guessing it's a cursed spear. Oh, right. Okay, that's... 
Okay, we actually have a combo with this. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. We need to destroy all of the crystals to be able to get out. I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, what is up here? It's actually proving a lot more fun than I expected it to be. <laughs> yeah, and... Yeah, the games get addictive for reasons. Yeah, this one I will glad to say he put on this to, to stream list. At least for pardon, yeah. <laughs> stream. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Noon. <laughs> you doing well? Okay. My group pizza? What? It, wait, let me get it. You want. You want those all free on a pizza? Okay, uh, level 10, so we can go for the boss. Uh, let's upgrade this to the little thing. Uh, the fish. Uh, yeah, it looks... Yeah, each of these have their own little trees that you can split into. Okay, let's give the boss a shot and then call it. <laughs> okay, oop, combat room. I might die here, but at least I'm well equipped. Yep, there we go. Just over exaggerated everything. Uh, and there's nothing for me to possess. We can uh, collect these. What was it? We can just dump them down to slow them down. Okay, what the hell was that? This. There we go, just smack him with that and with that. Okay, I did this could be hella fun. Oh, Miss. I should remember, there's an old Nintendo game in 8 bit there. Gauntlet? Uh, that one also, but it's not the one I'm thinking of. Well, they play one or two, fight each other, and the winner continues solo on the level until they die. Then they both have to fight each other again to see who continues the level or the next level. Okay. And I forgot what its name was. But I know it was a fantasy apocalypse. It was the apocalypse, but it, it turned slightly fantasy. I don't know, like it. Demons invade the apocalyptic earth and all that. You remember those really 80s like games? Hmm. I remember one that is a, a street brawler like that. What is this going to be? Uh, nothing apparently. Okay. Room. Might as well kill everything in it. Okay. He's spinning mushroom soup everywhere! Okay, so this Seder like just throws spears and can put up a shield if need be. And I can just be a little pissant from a distance. Oop. Yeah, this is the type of. Oop, did I get the kill or did. Yes, I got it. Okay. Ooh, some of the Minotaur? Go. And let's you. Wait, what just hit me there? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, higher value. Throw cyclones that damage your enemies. <laughs> okay, let's pick that up. Uh oh. And let's see if we can find the boss. Probably get our asses kicked by it. Or is this pointing to the boss? Yes, it is. Casual vandalism. Okay, some heals for the final fight. Okay, I know people say that some folks have a big heart, but that's a bit much. Okay. 
And yeah, your your friends can be part of the boss. Or are part of the boss. What the heck? Oh, oh, that's, you we can't really want to be a dick here. Dear friend. Yeah, these little games I feel to be definitely the grub wrong hex of you on the score. Okay, what the uh, wait but the uh, uh, fucking chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably tell uh, uh noon Oh wait, noon Noon Senpai should probably know we already do borderlands thingy. Oh now it's forearms. No, chicken again. Okay. okay, yeah, this is definitely a lot more interesting than I thought. And I think we might have actually gone over time. Check uh, again. No, more over, over time by one minute. So it is say 10, 50 minutes. And I fail. Okay, and that? Okay, that just throws us back into this to continue on even further with it. Okay. I think that's I think that's a good enough showcase for this. Yeah, we we are definitely picking this up some other time to screw around with. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, <laughs> easy yes. Okay, moving on to the third game. Ooh, and my freaking Bluetooth disconnected again, so I just gotta flip that off and on. Wait for it to reconnect. In the meantime, I hear nothing. There we go. Okay. Reselect the driver. And there we go. Oh, okay, a bit crackly, but that's... Yeah, I, I don't know what causes that to happen. Each, uh, every now and then that just happens that my, uh, my Bluetooth just disconnects. Uh, any luck now with the friends page? No, none at all, it seems. Uh, let's see, test one, two, you still here? Three, four, five. Okay. That's your ROMs pop, pop. Uh, yeah, game number three that we had prepared, or that I had prepared, Creeper World 4. The, the Creeper World games are pretty interesting because it's been one guy making them, and yeah, this fourth game is the first one that he ma actually made in 3D with it. And... Yeah, it is, it's uh, interesting, as we'll see. So let's just start here on the story. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of it. Oh, we didn't go over time because the timer is still going. Okay. And yeah, let's see. 09 Leo 266. The eve of humanity's greatest journey. Okay. And start the timer. Basically, this game, this series, is an offensive tower defense game. I cannot fiddle, but I can make a great state of a small city. Uh, let's see. 6 a.m. Dr. Danuji, here, uh, so bedroom. Oh, Let's see. From Director Hill, Chief Scientist, to Dr. Salio, uh, uh, Siloy? Yeah, Siloy. Sorry, kid. So yeah, sorry about this, kid, but no launch party for you. The system cache needs purging. You'll need to head to this launch site and run a full sim. Today, as in right now. You know, so we can launch the single greatest scientific experiment in human history on time, tomorrow. Enjoy your sim time. The real heroes around here will be sure to enjoy the launch party. Dr. Hill. Okay, dick. Uh, I actually have to, I have to press the button to do this. Fine, somebody has to be useful around here. Maybe I'll also inspect the Joven drive while I'm there. You know, the thing made possible by my grandfather and the only reason we are here. You'll enjoy your party while I make a difference. Junior scientist Rift Lab backup team. Let's see. Into lab control and get this over with. <laughs> Let's see. Moving with mouse for WAD. 
Yes. Rotate, holding my mouse key and moving the mouse. We're holding R, okay. And then reset with C, okay. Let's see. Ada Log. Hello, Dr. Solori. I hope your day is pleasant. Dr. Hale has requested you perform a few tasks in addition to the cash birds. Yes, of course. Dr. Hill would like the lights on at the launch site for tonight. Yeah, it's launch party. He wants the visiting dignitaries to uh, clearly see the launch site. He has instructed you to construct a tower to connect the Rift Lab to the launch site. This will power the lights. Let me close my interface and proceed. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. Uh, activate experimental soylent fields on towers. System action is recommended. Confirm override. Notice Dr. Hill will be informed of this action. Okay, so... Nope. The Solent fields are now activating, Dr. Soloy. These were not scheduled to be activated until tonight's launch party. They were supposed to be part of the exhibition. The Solent fields are operating within normal parameters. Each field is producing energy that is being fed across the net network to the Rift Lab. Genity status in the top left of the interface reflects increased energy production. Okay. Your assigned task is now complete. Dr. Hill has requested you remain here during the launch party. Nick. How do you pronounce his name? Hale. Someone said that you said Hill. Priority sensor notification. Orbital sensors have detected incoming high velocity objects. Possible meteors with likely. Ground strikes. Initiate condition two protocols. Activate ADA. Uh, I hope the music isn't too loud at the moment. Yeah, not for me. Okay. I don't. I kind of want to sleep right now. Uh, just, just go do that then. It, yeah. <laughs> it might be a lot okay. healthier. Boy, um, you guys have a. Okay. Yeah, that's thank, I'm gonna go. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for so showing up, Rom, and be safe. Okay, you and too. thank you, Noon, for that. And, uh, later, new, new and later. <laughs> Just go sleep. <laughs> you're, all, you're almost <laughs> passing out. Sleep, Rom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Orbital sensors confirm incoming meteor strikes. Protocol 2 initiated, base on lockdown. The Rift Lab is now decoupled from the base. All lab bulkheads are closed. Please brace for impact, Dr. Saloy. And yeah, message from Dr. Hill. Danu, we don't know what caused those impacts. They weren't normal uh, meteors. They have released something that is spreading across the train. I've released the control systems for the lab. Move it to the launch site now. None of the crew are there. Uh, none of the crew are there. We have to do this alone. We can't get to you, and that stuff is advancing on the whole base. They're, they're doing it. Uh, yeah. Okay. From noon, it got a bit intense. I was still able to hear you, Julian. Okay, I'll move. I'll sign. I'll, lo yeah, I'll lower it in a bit once uh, this is uh, done. And uh, yeah, blue goo from space that is absolutely destroying everything. Looks a bit more purple to me. The unknown material is approaching the, uh, the Rift Lab. I recommend relocating min uh, mining cannons across the launch site. They may delay the progress of the material. Cannon there, there. Um, might as well get some extras. Actually, leave that one there since yep, a little bit. And yeah, I guess you can guess what the uh, tower defense aspect is defending against. The creeper. Yep. Things? The creep. And we've got more of the gunk coming in. Message from Dr. Hale. Daniel, you have to get out of here. You have to save the lab and yourself. 
That stuff is destroying everything. There's no time. I've sent the command to Ada to initiate the launch sequence. Jump to far side. No, no, sir. But to Salu, or Saloy, the Ainu, you can do this. Take the lab through the rift space, you know, through rift space. Be the first to ever traverse the galactic voids. You need to know that your grandfather message terminated at source. Do Sorry, Dr. Saloy, but communications with Dr. Rail have been lost. The life support has failed across the base and the unknown material is continuing its advance. The launch sequence needs some time to initiate. The final calculations for a jump to far side have not yet completed. An approximate solution is currently in place. Use mining cans to keep the unknown material away from the rift lab until the initiation is completed. Just complete. Okay, let's move you over there. This is some creep, well, creeping up <laughs> over here. You hold oh. back because you're going to get overwhelmed. I think, okay, I think this one is going to get caught on the mad lands. Or not, okay. But it does something. I was wondering, does, does it kind of do anything? But uh, now I see it does do something. Yeah, and get the hell out of here. Mess a message never received. They knew. Come in. We have taken shelter in the underground cavern. Okay, so they weren't killed. And with <laughs> okay, immediately three achievements. Five achievements. Five? What? Uh, I think that might be a bit glitched. <laughs> like I said, this is this is mostly a one-person job. And yeah, okay, I think that's for unlocking the missions. Let's see, the jump was a success, but now what? Let's see. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's how well others have done in this. So we can just go to jump. Yeah, the level. Error 001, system faults. Report error to Farsight dev team. Ada offline. Let's see. Ada offline, engines offline, carrier single signal undetected, nano lathe partial, ST positioning error. That's just great. Ship's broken, and where the heck am I? This isn't far sight. Okay. And yeah, there's more of the goop here. <laughs> I guess this is some kind of uh, alien blob life form yep uh, let's see let's start connecting to this thing yeah before this stuff comes up to us because it is adding to itself let's see ROS version 10.14, executive, executable font modules found, 1 of 42 valid checksums, 41 of 22 corrupt or missing. Uh, do I have a choice? Everything is already botched. Praise be the founders. Ceremonial archive active. 207 errands have passed since last. Sing praises to the founders all who hear. <laughs> you have to be kidding. We sing praise to founders in tongue of ancient. Let all hear our words of praise. Praise be the founders. Lost in space with a cold virus and surrounded by an unknown liquid of death. Nice. Holy system found. Cannon enabled where none was before. Praise be the founders. Oh, and entirely useless. Cannons worked against that liquid back on Mars. So, yeah, first duty, not get overrun over here. Let's build a few. Let's see. Yeah, these towers produce... <clears throat> these towers produce energy, and energy is used to power, well, your weapons and everything. Mother not found. Mother must. Founders with mother not. Require mother. Quest uh, must you find great mother. Praise be the founders. So this is how I die, talking to a virus mouse mother. 
And yeah, the goal of each level is typically to get to specific things. Probably that there. And well, to not die. Quest must you find Great Mother. Okay, time to get serious. I'm getting that other artifact thing to the east. Maybe it's the antivirus. Okay. Uh, these tower, these cannons and such do need to be within reach of a tower to actually be able to, well, <laughs> have energy fed into them. For now, let's put down a few more of these. So we actually have energy being produced. Okay. Great Mother Quest Assist, Creeper Graph added to system. Trace speed the founders. Annoying but useful. Reminds me of Dr. Hale. Creeper. Interesting. So yeah. The number shows how much energy you will get from each of these towers. There. There. It does take a moment to actually build them and for the energy to actually get travel to it. Let's see. Let's build a cannon here so it doesn't, well, creep up on us over here. From there, from there. And yeah, the creeper actually behaves like a fluid. So when we are. Well, we, when we are destroying it in one place, it actually needs to... what blew up there. I was just asking you, what the heck just happened there? Okay, I, oh, it's... it's... I think it's getting over the ledge here. So it got to the... it got to the tower before it was fully constructed. Okay. Um... Let's move this one over here. And... Yeah, because, because you can move these, you can just slowly but surely uh, yeah, turtle your way over to, uh, to objectives or to producers like these here. We can't do anything about those at the moment, though. So let's continue making some structures. Cover all of this place. bit less efficient on the hills. Oh, we've got it creeping in here. Always good to start higher up. So, well, it takes a while to actually build up and get down to you. Yeah, that one may be a bit precarious. Yeah. Um... Okay. At the very least, it's being held back here, so we can probably move something over. Let's put you down there to ensure... Okay, yeah. They do move slowly, as you can see. So that is something to keep in mind. Well, this really reminds me of a documentary. No. Alien Planets. Okay. Have you, know, have you seen it? I may have seen part of it, at the very least. Uh, do you remember seeing where some giant things walk on a river? Or on top of a river or sea? Not sure. Basically, the, entire, the only ocean has been uh, developing something like this. But I'll make it so thick that things can walk on it. Okay. Gigantic things. Which eat it through the mouse. On the feet. Okay. Is it really easier to just do small jumps with these and just hopscotch closer under the cover of other cannons? <laughs> uh, cancel that move. You. Let's see, get over there. It's a little bit closer here. I want this area freed up so we can build our mates. 
there. And yeah, that's basically the core of the game too. There are of course more structures and weapons that become unlocked as you go on. Uh, including ways to neutralize these things. So for the moment, let's make a bit of a... Yeah, okay, it, yeah, it got in too close there. I, I built way too close to that. Okay, we just gotta hold our ground. Uh, build another one here. And let's just, well, creep these a bit closer. Bit of a weak hole, a weak spot over here. So let's just back you up a little bit. I'm not going to move that one. Just going to make a few ones down here. Should be far back enough. Hopefully, at least I have some cover fire. Oh, we. Okay, we need more generation because we're using more than we're generating. So, there. That should do it, I think, for the moment. Okay. Let's press forward this way. Okay, just gotta force a path through this stuff here. I don't think the weapons interfere with power generation. Okay. Just slowly and surely advance. That might have been a bit ambitious of a move. Nope. Okay. And yeah, it, structures don't just... I'm not sure if it's with everything, but the moment it just touches something he just explodes so gotta be careful of that Cleaner. I guess that works too. I so guess you're in a very big straw. Okay. Uh, you aren't doing anything now. And that should be free. So let's land you there. You advance. You advance. We should be safe to connect up. There we go. Might as well start up this way a bit. Since it's very clearly something we'll probably want. Uh, most likely. You all the way over there. Let's see. 
Mother AI Ada version 2.4.2. Executable modules found for four valid checksums. Okay, install. More compatible software on an alien world? I wonder what group B does here. Yes, install and run. That's. Hello, Dr. Sor uh, Saloy. I'm, I'm going to keep getting that wrong. Uh, I'm pleased to see you again. I have detected an out-of-date system uh, database. The database will be upgraded over time. I'm unable to detect a rift carrier signal or establish our exact location. Solar spectrum analysis is not consistent with the Earth or the far side systems. Protocol 3 initiated. In the event of loss of communication while not in the Earth system, return to Mars Launch Station. Engine error. Jump drive error. Attempting engine restart. Engine restart success. Attempting dri uh, jump drive restart. Jump drive re restart incomplete. I am unable to initiate the jump back to Mars. Coordinates cannot be established without a rift carrier signal. Mother need rift assist. Signal for totem sent. Reveal they are now. Liftic to totem uh, activate. Praise be the founders. Yeah, but I'm sure if I do this, I'll get back to Mars. Liftic to totems. Hmm. Okay, another lift totem, I guess. I'm both need. Okay. Yeah, we need materials, and well, bring those over to them through the network. So we put one of these down here, and I actually didn't have this planned out or anything. <laughs> And we need to advance here then. Let's see, you aren't doing much. So let's move you forward as well. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, it's not it's not getting enough energy. It wasn't getting enough energy. It does take a lot of time to travel. So yeah, it this is a power defense slash resource management game. Towers you just want as many of as you can get. You can have a little bit of overlap, but you can't... You, know, you, know, you should avoid too much since the actual towers block where you can build. over this way. And yeah, you can imagine if if the creeper manages to sneak in somewhere and start breaking down your network, you can imagine how bad things can go then. Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> Especially since, well, stuff needs to travel down it. And if a section of your defense gets isolated, yeah, that's going to be a big breach. Ooh, dear. Let's see, I think there might have been a small glitch or something. Okay, that missed that one. Okay. We've hit 25 minutes, but let's continue on a little bit more. Finish off this level at the very least. You can advance forward. So, in a bit of an ironic twist, you need to well, creep forward yourself with this as well. And yeah, like I said, there will be more structures and more weapons unlocked later on through the game. <clears throat> because, yeah, the creeper will also have other 
methods of attack later on. Like, those meteors aren't a one-off thing. Oh, dear. Yep. Okay. Let's hope that they ain't too random with those meteorites. Okay, why aren't those two being built? Oh wait, they're not connected to the network. They're connected to a <laughs> to a turret. I missed <laughs> I missed that. That was my fault. So yeah, quickly built. Next one is built. <laughs> okay, that's a good one, uh, Tucker. <laughs> and welcome to the chat. Okay, there goes to Liftic. I know how I get the yoke. Hello, <laughs> Trucker. Oh, it took me a move to realize I want to wait. How does he relate this slime to popcorn? Then I realized the noise the cannons are making. Okay, rift signal detected. Attempting jump drive, uh, the jump drive restart. Jump drive restart complete. Jump drive has been re reinitialized. Re reinitialized, Dr. Seloy. The jump resolver has confirmed a target at the coordinates for the Mars launch site. You may initiate the jump when ready. And, yeah, that's typically... <laughs> Mother Rift jump, rejoice. As does written, so quest begin. Quest indeed. It goes nothing. And, yeah. We're out. And... Yeah, with that, I think we'll leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger as to what the hell happened on Mars. Uh, though, I guess you can say that it's not looking too good with how grey everything looks. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't think this will be much of a game to stream, really, because, yeah, a lot of it is just going to be pew 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 <laughs> and such. Uh, but it is still a fun game that I will I will continue to play on my own. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll record it and such. Uh, no, Mars got broken by a bunch of uh, Gatorade meteorites hitting it. Gatorade? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. So that is the third game. So let's move on to number four. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I might record me playing that and edit it uh, together for uploads to YouTube. I've said I would do that with multiple games, and I've not, <laughs> I haven't really gotten to any of those. Yeah, uh, no. We had, I did talk to, we did sp talk about that recently. That uh, I realized that might almost be impossible for you while you have your current work. Yeah, uh, I'll just have to find time in well, my own time. <laughs> Uh, like yeah, yeah. when I can, when we can't stream, maybe I'll just uh, record like that. And why is the game not starting? Come on, Steam is preparing to launch. Come on, <laughs> Gatorade meteors. I thought they only made sports drinks. Well, they got very, very aggressive with their advertising. And uh, yeah, the crew too, as you can see here. Mm. Okay, I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I got this game on discount, like 99% of all of the games I own. And I've, I think I've mentioned uh, Accursed Farms before, the guy who made, uh, or is made and is making the Freeman's Might series. Never heard of. Uh, but yeah, he did. He's a pretty good creator, and he has a side, a uh, bit of a sideshow, uh, the gaming dungeon, where he, well, sort of reviews uh, games, but not in the typical style. And what he made a video on the original The Crew, and he liked it a lot, basically describing it as a road trip simulator, sort of. Uh, though I don't remember what he had, what his opinions were on the sequel. So, let's actually Wait. start this up. Oh no! Hmm? It's a racing game. Yep. 
It's wait, yeah, there's a, for, they have a season passes with this or seasons with this. It's Ubisoft, I think, of course. For those people who don't know, I'm not a fan of racing games at all. Never have been. Uh, let's see. I've I've called myself a decent fan of racing games, though. It's a bit here and it's a bit hit and miss sometimes. Like I really enjoyed a lot of the Need for Speeds. The okay, ones I guys, can't. come on, oh. get a move on. We're going on soon. Ah, Hero Yuki Carter. Hey, call me Hero. Pleasure to meet you. I was beginning to think you and your driver weren't going to make it. I'm from Live, the camera company sponsoring this race, and I'll be heading up this event. Walk with me. Look, thanks again. I'm really stoked about this. Thanks for giving us the shot. Don't mention it. We're always on the lookout for new talent, and you and your friend fit the bill. And I don't have to tell you this, but if you do right by yourselves in this race, you'll see a lot of doors opening up for you. Gotcha. We won't disappoint you. Disappoint me? That's not what this is about. It's your chance to impress people who matter. The events my company organizes are a feeder for every racing family out there. You do want to race, yes? Oh, yeah. This is such a big deal for us. We've tried broadcasting our races, but no dice. I guess nobody wants to see nobody's. Trust me. Just show the world what you've got in this one. You'll get followers like that. Run a good race, and you'll find your options and your followers increasing. We'll give it our best. Hero, my friend. I don't want your best. I want legendary badass them. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. Something about putting on a race? Best of luck. Okay, thanks. Okay, I, I think the quote-unquote story... Help break anything you have to. Drive like I know you can, and we'll be in the big leagues in no time. I think the quote-unquote story of the first crew was like a big cross-continental uh, cross race from one side of America to the other. Welcome to the city that never sleeps. In this event, you'll see New York taken over by racers in a way you never could have imagined. It's not just the city. It's a playground for the best pilots and drivers of today and tomorrow. Okay, and where do the planes and such get involved? <laughs> okay, we're just straight into it, huh? Okay, WASD. Let's see. Okay. Slyberg is in Paul. We're here today to watch the first episode of this year's live extreme series. In this new season, Talented newcomers have a shot at taking on established stars and a chance to impress all the racing teams out here. And believe me, they're watching. And just as important, they need to generate excitement. Uh, that's how fans flock uh, to them. And that's what it's all about, right? Become a, a bit racer, late with the wrong the way. and see your follower numbers uh, soar. Uh, okay, I was expecting this to be more sealed off and not this open world like this. <laughs> uh, now we're way behind. Uh, Aren't those metal poles supposed to stop cars? Okay. I didn't really notice the poles. I'm just trying to focus on the mini-map and the road. Speaking of soaring, get a load of that jump. There you have it, folks. The numbers are going through the roof. Okay, quick break to turn better. Okay, gotta keep it by their eye on the road guide. I should have expected that okay, would be a that dead stop. That stops your car, but not those thick iron fence po light poles. Yeah, sure, it could be wrecked that thing, but it will also wreck the car. Yeah. This isn't the racing and now sim. Live goes to the extreme. Whoop. Uh, the fuck? Uh, okay, when did we enter? <laughs> when the hell did we en enter the... I've not time to do it. I just lost for words on that. Okay. Inception mods? So this is where the boats and planes come into play, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 we are. 
Okay, we actually get affected by the the You'll get what is it called again? by winning, of course, but that's not the only way. Do a spectacular stunt like this, and the fans will come a running. Check it out. Yeah, we actually get affected by the waves of our opposition. That that is pretty cool. And let's see, a lot of light poles in US cities are designed to break away at the base to reduce deaths from accidents. Okay. Uh, wake, yeah, the, the wake, our opponents wake. So if, if we're not too careful, we might end up at a wake <laughs> if we crash too hard. All right, okay, that makes sense. But it still will damage the car, won't it? It's to some degree. Yeah. We're two thirds of the way through, and I believe we're watching a new star exploding onto the circuit. Okay, I'm, I'm getting big Gran Turismo 5 vibes of this game at the moment, though with more than just cars. And, well, reality folding. We kick it up a notch for the grand finale. How the fuck are we even switching between these? <laughs> are we just androids uploading to a new body each time or something? I think you have different drivers for each. Probably. Okay. This is how it is these days. Just being a good pilot isn't enough anymore. You've got to shine on and off the course. Staying sharp on the social media side. It's simple math. The more followers you have, the more followers you'll get. Sign on with your first racing team, and the second will start looking at you. Pile up supporters, and the contracts will be knocking on your door. To put it another way, a driver who attracts enough followers will open up new styles of racing. We call them disciplines. Y'all call them awesome. And isn't awesome what we're all after? Okay, these controls are a bit... Uh, why? Bias? <laughs> right shift and control up and down instead of W and S? I can sense a rush of followers coming, can't you? Okay, head downwards to gain more speeds. Okay. It just goes... It just goes automatically pretty sure we're in last place but still we survived this madness at least from the heart of new york city this was the live extreme series episode one thank you for watching and remember to follow us on all social media Ugh. okay it, it ha at the very least it has a very good hook for the beginning here what the other hell is going on with everything? <laughs> Why the yeah, hell is it, it, Doctor Strange helping us a racing team? It did not have a good hook for me at all. Cool, it is official, my friend. We have made the big time. We're still gonna have to prove ourselves, but that's more than fine. You know, we've got the right stuff. There's so much to try. Boats, planes, all kinds of cars. It's like the world's biggest buffet menu, and we gotta take a bite out of everything. We're talking street racers, off-road, pro racing, freestyle. We could take a test run with any of them. Or if you ask me, do them all. Pick which one you want to try first and let's go. My friend, welcome to the Motor Nation. Yeah, you do gain speed falling <laughs> up until you hit something. Now, we've got four ways we can get this puppy rolling. It's your pick. How do you want to start? Okay, I... Yeah, it, it doesn't hook for you, of course, but that's because you don't really like racing games. And I don't expect there will be much, if any, of a story in this. Yeah, like, I tried when I was very young, and then a few times during the years, then I just... I think about Need for Speed on PlayStation 2 or something, I just completely gave up. Okay, uh, shall we continue a bit more with this one then, or let it lie? Because... Very obviously unlikely to stream, but not because it's looking like a bad game or anything. Uh, let's let's move on. Okay. Uh, something okay, about like this game robbed something. me the wrong way. Okay. Can just close the program down like this as well. A bit annoying that you can't <clears throat> open up the menu like me. In that, but oh well. You're supposed to make a quick selection, anyways. Roll the puppy. Why are you rolling the puppy? <laughs> I think he means to do a barrel roll, or rather, an aileron roll. Oh, you went there, eh? 
Why did I sound like a Canadian? Okay, next game then. Class of the Dutchman. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, uh, first off, this game has both English, Frisian, or Frisks, and Dutch in language. So, which shall we go for? Uh, for everyone's sake, probably English. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, I have played this game before, though it doesn't seem to have kept my save file. No voiceover. Okay, in the 16th century, Frisia was torn apart by strife and turmoil. A timer. Several factions are trying to get a hold on the land and to consolidate their power. Ordinary Frisian people like the Donia family just want to be left in peace. Phew, I'm glad I'm finished with that. I've ordered quite an appetite. And yeah, uh, this game <laughs> stars and is about a uh, a Dutch his historical slash mythical figure. That's. I really hope Hin Rince has prepared something good today. Oh, uh, I I know a little bit about this guy. Most of you too. I have one of a song dedicated to him. On the yeah. CD, yeah, and that's... from another old Dutch realm, explained who he was, and I hope we get to see his signature weapon. <laughs> Hello, dearest. Have you finished preparing that field for growing season? I've been breaking my back over it all morning, and it's been taken care. Of. It's all been taken care of. Well then, I've been busy as well. I'm afraid I haven't gotten around to preparing a meal yet. Hmm, anything I can do to help out? Yes, you can actually. We're all out of meat and fish, so... <clears throat> so you could head to the market at the crossroads and trade some of our vegetables. Do I really have to? Can't you send one of the kids? I haven't seen those rascals all morning. All morning. Please just gather some vegetables around the farm and take it to the market. Uh, you can use the mini the horse wall gone. Also, I'm pretty sure they've been running ba around behind our <laughs> mini map. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Don't make this too complicated, dear. Just make sure you're back home before sundown. All right, I'll see what I can find. Okay, I'll be saluted the developers. That 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 was. <laughs> Uh, okay. I played them. Actually, I have, I have a few games I realize are Dutch games, and so far they've always been humorous. Uh, I need to double check which of you know, the games I have are that are also by Dutch makers. That's. Uh, Asian Wonders? Dutch. Uh, okay, I actually didn't know that, though it would explain I, I, a few things. <laughs> I told you that several times, I told you that on Showcase Sunday when we streamed it. Uh, but my my memory is notoriously, no, no, notoriously bad. I'm still, yeah. having, I'm still having to adapt to that bloody filling. Yeah, also, the fourth game is coming out second on Mars of Age of Wonders 4. That I have heard of. Though, a series that might, people might not expect is made by Dutch developers, the Resistance series. That I am surprised though. I most know of, well, most games that were made of Triumph, the Dutch game company. I have a okay. few games like Overlord. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> and the Dungeons mm. series, just the Dungeons. Okay, that I didn't <laughs> know. That's... Here you go, a whole bunch of vegetables gathered from around this farm. Thanks, my love, but it looks like you forgot to bring the carrots. 
Go around the ditch and, and get to the field to the east of the farm. You're kidding me, right? Off you go. Oh, the, uh, uh, I should probably in, in mention this. This guy is even tall for a Dutchman. Yes, I went there. He's over two meters tall. And this is supposed to be like a few centuries ago, so uh, yeah, that's even more exceptional for the time then. Because yeah, something that people uh, go ahead. I would say just for people who don't know the metric system, it's over, over six feet tall, over, way past. Yeah, yeah closer to seven. And uh, yeah, uh, with improving food over the last few centuries, people have been shooting up rather quickly because I'm pretty sure the average height in the Netherlands, for example. Uh, during at least the Golden Age, or the, the, go the Age of Sail, at the very least, was more like five feet. Oh dear. Yeah, at a, and that was considered tall. Like, uh, there's constantly jokes about Napoleon being short as all hell, but he was actually tall for the time. So, yeah, <laughs> consider that. <laughs> oh dear. There you are, stu you stupid carrots. About time. I'm really starting to feel like an errand boy here. Oh, and fun little detail. They're purple instead of orange. Like they were originally. The, the orange was bred into this. Oh, hello. Overlord, the, the one that you are a dark lord and command a squad of imps. I like that one. Need to play it again. Yes, yes, Trucker. I, I, I would almost want us to stream that. I wouldn't be against it. I've streamed the second game, or no, I've played the second game, but I've never played the first. I played both. <laughs> you, give us all your money or we'll take your life. If you can even see us with that hat. What the heck? What are you doing on my property? Shut up and hand over the money. Leave my farm right now or make short work of the both of you. Yeah, we'll take that challenge only day. Okay, A for quick attacks, and yeah, as, as is very clearly, this is a top-down brawler. <laughs> it's, I hate brigands, so annoying, yeah. Time to put them in the brig. These fools, these fools thought they could come to my place and rob me? The nerve. So that we can't pick up their weapons. And again, they probably would be of pretty shitty quality if they're trying to uh, rob wait. people. Did they make a camp to roast a boar? Mm, probably. <laughs> You'd expect that a bit for, uh, further south in Gallia. Yeah, wait. Bo pig, I mean pig. <laughs> and that's why I went with that instead of another joke. You won't believe what just happened. I got ambushed by a bunch of crooks on our own land. Next, were you hurt? I'm fine. Not sure about those guys, to be honest. Things have become more dangerous ever since those Saxon soldiers have reached the village of Kimsworth in Arum. Now yeah, you've run into strangers on our very doorstep? What's next? Who can tell? I'll make sure to keep a watchful eye from now on. Perhaps it's best if you can if you take some of our savings with you to the crossroads, just in case you need to pay to stay out of trouble. I guess it can't hurt, but I'd rather deal with it in a different way. Oh. Okay. Uh. Are we going to say something? Oh, I say I don't really get to see the whip, but uh, sh should I say it? What his signature weapon is? It's the quote unquote cross. Uh, we yeah, no, I, I don't know if it appears here. <laughs> but uh, in real life, it, it was me too that he had a great sword, taller than himself. Yeah. Handing over our savings to one of those Saxon bastards would be the last thing I'd do. Okay. Say goodbye to Rince. I can say this, I've never seen anyone with, or I've never known anyone with the name Rince. And I'm from this place. 
Uh, well, I'm off to the crossroads now. I'll be back before you know it. Though it's probably more a, a Frisian name, since that is where this more accurately takes place. You didn't get yourself in any kind of trouble. If you ever get lost, you can use the world map to find your way back home. Uh, okay, was the, uh, how long is this game? It's pretty short, I uh, think. Uh, I can actually check it. I can actually check my playtime on Steam here in a moment. So let's see. Cross. Uh, let's see. Play time three hours. You are yep. added to the list of short side games. Okay. Oop. There's a chest here, though we For can't really get this. This seems like a, this seems easily streamable. Yeah. Though the question is, do we? Uh, are we going to stream it in English or in Dutch and just have me translate everything? Probably maybe in English. Like, sure, I would love to learn Dutch, but... Let's do it for the viewer's sake with the English. Yeah. Okay, chapter two. The, the two, trouble at the crossroads. Okay. Just gotta turn in some vegetables for meat. Good afternoon, big guy. Hello, good man. I would like to trade my vegetables for some of your finest fish. Now you've come to the right place. My fish is the freshest you can get. But I'm afraid I won't be able to trade with you today. Coins only. Are you saying something is wrong with my vegetables? I've been growing these on my own land, you know. Oh no, I'm sorry. Your vegetables look fine. It's just that I need to pay a lot more taxes now that those Saxon soldiers have come to the village. That's why I can only sell my fish for coins. These guys are everywhere. And now they're even getting between me and my meal. That, that's a good way to get someone like this angry. <laughs> look here, big guy. Those soldiers have taken a good portion of my cats today because I was not able to pay them. I'll trade with you if you can get my fish back. Sounds like I'll be doing all the work. But these, those hoodlums are getting on my nerves. I'll return your fish. Thank you. Just be careful. They are well armed. Okay. What are you... Anything you're willing to trade? No, I'm sorry. Okay, this, this shop that's closed at the moment. I don't remember that. Maybe I've completely missed an upgrade system or something. Hold it right there, peasant. Let me pass, I have no business with you. Oh, but I'm afraid you do. See, everybody has to pay a toll in order to get their arrow. You know, no, no matter how big and stupid they are. What did you just call me? Are you a deaf peasant? Either, you, know, you pay the toll or we won't let you pass. What kind of scum would extort people out of their hard-earned money? So not to teach you a lesson. You fool, you're picking a fight you can't win. That's what this previous two thought as well. Uh, yeah, the comedy is rather simplistic. I did do pretty. <laughs> uh, looks like I can knock those. Uh, looks like I knock these guys out cold. Better start looking for those fish and head straight back to the fishmonger. And you were going to say? I said the way they just fall all down after you punch down them. <laughs> Hold it. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, um, you see? Enough. We saw what you did. Now surrender and get the hell out of our camp. Not so much for that. That was close. I guess these guys can be messed with. I need to come up with something different if I want to get my hands on those fish. Okay. Time to be a sneaky giant. Hello again, big guy. Were you able to retrieve my fish? I'm afraid not. I was able to fight off a couple of soldiers, but back up arrived before I knew it. They threw me out of their camp. And it's quite troublesome. You should, uh, <clears throat> you should easily be able to take on even a large group of those Saxons. Maybe you should go and find Zwarte Gerts. Yeah, yeah. He is the blacksmith from Aram. I'm sure he has something that will help you out. I think you can see where this is going. Geert, huh? Never heard of him. But I don't think I'll be able to reach him anyway. The soldiers have blocked the entire road, and there's no way I'm paying them at all after what just happened. 
Yeah, that's what I figured. No worries. Geert always travels uh, to Kimsworth to help shoe <coughs> to help shoe horses on the farms. I've seen him come by just this morning. You should be able to catch up with him quickly. Well, why not? Where did you say I can't find this guy? I could find him. Just head east to Kimsworth. Once you get there, I will have you will have to ask around. I'm sure people will have seen him come by. Okay. With that, we have a destination and an objective. And a very, very big ass sword to get. Yes. Uh, luckily, we don't have to travel a realistic distance. Just move over a few screens, I believe. Right, this is the road to Kimsworth. Now to find that blacksmith. Will the blacksmith make a sword? That means he's not a blacksmith. <clears throat> he's a weaponsmith. Let's see. Yeah, or bladesmith. Have you seen Swart uh, the blacksmith come by? I think I did see a blacksmith riding his carriage not too long ago. I think you can still catch up with him. Okay. I'm guessing we can and just randomly ask people all over the place. And we have C power of first windmill. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's see. Did I go too far or something? Because there's no people around here now. <clears throat> okay, you. Hello, good man. Have you seen a blacksmith coming by recently? I think I saw one just down the road. Not too long ago. Okay. Not here. Down here, maybe? Let's... Oh, yeah, this looks blacksmithy. Good day, fellow. What brings you here? You must be Geert. Uh, Geert, uh, I don't know the specific pronunciation. Uh, maybe you can help me. I was thrown out of a soldier's camp, and I need to teach those morons a lesson. I figure you're the kind of guy that, who can get himself into trouble easily. You're calling me a troublemaker? Easy, fellow. I'm just saying that you really stand out of the crowd. I'm sure those soldiers love to pick on you. I guess you're not far from the truth, but I have matters to settle. Are you going to help me or not? If you were back at my shop, I would have sold you a sword, but since I'm on the road, all I can give you right now is some advice. Well, aren't you the disappointing blacksmith? Alright, I'll take your advice for what it's worth. Actually, my advice is worth about 100 pieces of gold. Are you kidding me? It better be gold play that advice then. Will you expect anything else from a master blacksmith like me? You want to learn how to beat those soldiers or not? I guess there's no other way. But to be honest, I don't have enough money right now. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. I'll get you the money, just wait here. Ain't going nowhere. Okay, so we just need to get some. <laughs> we need to find some chests and get some coin. We're 25 short, and how much are we getting out of this? Yep, 40. Don't have 30. Blech. I can't count. <laughs> Dead air. Alright, here's the money. It better be worth it. That was fast. I hope you didn't rob anybody. Very funny. And let's hear your advice. You need to teach those soldiers a lesson. What you need to do is learn to control that anger of yours. Build it up and let it out loud in one furious blow. You need to take a breather during fi a fight? Sounds pretty dumb, now doesn't it? Why don't you give it a try? Keep calm until your stamina bar has filled up, then release a mighty blow. <laughs> yeah, number hard, trucker. Stamina bar? You sound just as crazy as my wife. Just give it a shot. You can try punching those barrels over there. Just so you know, using regular punches won't work. Let's see. Special attack. And uh, let's... See. Yep, that's B. And we're just going to steal whatever coins he kept there. That was pretty impressive. I can tell that there is a lot of strength hidden inside those fists of yours. That was awesome. Thanks for the advice. I'll be able to put this to good use. Make your way back to the crossroads and give him hell. Oh, and just so you know, if you ever learn a new move, you can always switch back to those moves you already know. Okay. 
I think, I'm pretty sure I might have forgotten all of that when I originally played that, like I was stuck with the basic stuff. Okay. Oh dear. <clears throat> that, that would explain why the last half of the game turned into such a drag. I was completely underpowered. <laughs> Okay. Back to the fishmonger. You've come back. Have you found Swarta Garrett's? You bet I have. She'd better get ready to trade those fish with me. I'm putting an end to this right now. Got to him just uppercutting the fishmonger and running off with his fish. Oh dear gods. You again? The soldiers are knocked out in a bad way. We won't go easy on you this time, you filthy peasant. Come and get it. Yep. <laughs> he just sent two of them into the stratosphere. Yep. He'll get hit on both sides. <laughs> oh, uh... He's going to wake up pretty toasty. Oh! Incredible, I've never felt so strong in all my life. Guess that old blacksmith advice was worth more than I thought. No, let's find those space and get out of here. I really don't need any more trouble. Yoink. Okay, we're done with the fishy business. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're back already? How on earth did you manage that? I took care of those crates. The stone... Uh, they they start wearing some armor and think they can push people around. I'm really grateful for your help. Please, keep the fish as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. My wife will be happy to see you know, that I've made a good deal. I can only advise you to keep your head down, big guy. The soldiers will be back and in far greater numbers, I'm afraid. Let them come. Okay. Yep. I, I thought there was some sort of bird or something. <laughs> but notice this guy is shouting for some reason. Uh. <laughs> I, I first thought I said I put a cow. <laughs> What's uh. the comment that cow sound a bit weird? Let's see. Defeating sword wielding opponents with your fist is like the most chat thing ever. I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Pierre here would count as the uber chat. <laughs> <laughs> like the grandfather of all chads with the way he's built. Yeah, and you walk post a lot of chest, but again, we probably be a bit more thorough bit stream this for real. Yeah, when we actually need up money for upgrades and such. You live a chad or die trying. <laughs> Hello love. I was able to get some nice fresh fish for free. Are you sure these, those fish haven't gone bad? What trader would just give his products away without asking something in return? Well, a bunch of soldiers were messing with the fishmonger. I helped him out and got the fish at no charge. So he, he's just talking to his pecs. <laughs> uh, love, my eyes up up here. Are you out of your mind, Pierre? What do you think will happen now? Next thing you know, those soldiers will be coming to our house. You can't put our family in danger like this. Don't you worry about that. I'll be here to protect you. Pierre, Rince, and their children are enjoying a hard-earned meal of vegetables and fish. It is a nice little art style, isn't it? Their evening is suddenly disturbed by a loud knock on the door. Here goes to check out the commotion, he finds John the farmer. His face pale as a sheet, and he's completely out of breath. Let's see. Okay, we are almost out of time. Pierre, there you are. You must help me right away. Calm down, man. What's wrong? Those bastards have raided our farm. The entire crossroads is swarming with them. You need to help me right now. These guys don't know when to quit, do they? Don't you worry, I'll help you out. Yeah, they didn't take the assault on their soldiers lying down. Especially when we dunked one of their heads into a campfire. Wait, 
This is the last game for today? Uh, no, we are just running low on the timer for this one. We still have room for one more game, I'd say. Uh, Alright. And the last one I do want to show... No, it's not the last one, it's the second last that I had prepared, but still. They blocked away. We need to deal with those soldiers quickly. These soldiers quickly. Okay. Well, well, well. Who do we have? Who do we have here? Remove your men from that farm this instant. Huh. And what if we won't? We don't. We... Huh. Enough. <laughs> Fuck all of them in one hit. Okay. Incredible. Oh, I've never seen such strength. There are more soldiers up ahead. Get ready. I, I noticed something. Which I guess is a bit of a flaw many morning gaming studios. The, you see those hip plates? Yeah. They place it wrong. Okay, and <laughs> again, we're burning one. Again? You're burning uh. his head. But they're supposed to be a bit of in front of your legs a, a little bit. You have, can have hip armor that go on the side, but they usually almost like a skirt. Then, but when you okay. have two flaps, you want them in front of the legs, but where they that's where they will protect you the most. Okay, as is clear, this isn't like a triple A game, but it is still a nice little thing from Triangle Studios down there. Yes, yeah, it's a lot of charm in this, a lot of the love I can feel. Okay, uh, wait for it to close down. Yep, come on, there we go. And then we'll start at the last game for today, or at least this afternoon, because we can likely stream again tonight. Finally. Okay, give it a moment to catch up. Crosscode. I have Ooh. heard a hell of a good of things about this game. Hope, hey. Luckily without spoilers. Yeah. I think I see a little bit of so Wonderbot play this. Maybe. Okay, Noon has it, but hasn't started yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, one small annoyance is that on my end, at the moment, it is a, a tiny little screen. <laughs> for me, I want to say, you did you enlarge it? For some of your notifications were enormous on the side here. Yeah, but, but it's it's more that it gets pull, it gets en en enlarged to the window behind here. Let me actually... Uh, okay. And Let's see. Can I uh, finally... And, no, the friends list is still broken, so I'll just have to resize this a bit. Just see it be stretched live on the air. <laughs> okay, there and there, and that should about fit. Let's see. About difficulty and assist mode. Crosscode is designed with challenge in mind for both combat and puzzles, and we encourage every player to try the game with its, in in with its intended difficulty. However, if those challenges end up making the game less enjoyable or even accessible for you, we provide options to tweak the difficulty through the Assist tab in the option menu. Always really, really appreciate it, stuff like this. Like, sometimes people are just not going to get something. Starting the timer. I know you can hear me. Where is he? Shizuka, I have to ask you to leave. You're keeping him here? What do you think you're what do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So we duck the dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm going to talk to some sen yeah, I'm going to take some Ugh. Tongue just no one work. I'm going to talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Could also just be that I'm trying to talk too fast. Please don't do this. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? We'll have to do better than that. Mm. 
I know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Code paste? Oh, very creative. Weak to heat, how surprising. <laughs> Almost there. If you interrupt him, all of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this. So, it never should have happened in the first place. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. You can throw as many enemies at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Satoshi. Sister? What do you think you're doing? You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. I should rest when I'm way beyond recovery. I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. Finish this, and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. No on earth are we? <laughs> okay, looks like I got the ratio off a little bit. There you are. Initialization successful. Oh, is the speed synchronization malfunctioning? Uh, apparently. Oh, something just had to go wrong. <laughs> that face. That kind of somehow... How I imagine you do whenever something goes wrong here. That's the tech support face. But you understand me, correct? Okay, we'll, we will make it work somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? All right, let us take small steps. Do you remember where VR, uh, VRP is? Virtual ricochet projectiles? Walls? No, oh, you seem to remember. <laughs> Carla, we are ready. Please initiate the training sequence. VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They are basically like balls. Your task is to hit all of these robots with VRPs. So give it a shot, or rather, a throw. Nice work. Oh, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. <laughs> Hey, 
Something in particular about VRPs, they are not affected by whatever. Thus, no matter how far you throw, VRPs will not fall to the ground. Oh, affected by gravity. So yeah, straight lines. Takes a moment to aim accurately. Very good. Okay, next let us enable the charge mode. You activate charge VRPs by you know, aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. Charge mode allows for the throwing of larger VRPs. Those charge VRPs will ricochet on walls. That is the reason for their name, you see. Using charge VRPs, you can hit the target with the red circle. Easy enough, right? Yeah, it even gives a little <clears throat> guide as to where it will go. Okay, enough practice with VRPs. It's about time we put you down on your feet. Carla, we are done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. Hey there, girl. Welcome to our cozy cargo hold. My name is Carla. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there's an issue with our speed synchronization. She still understands us, though. No way. Is there, is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I will have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Non-verbal communication, you know? Atta girl. Still, kinda would like to know your name. Sergey, can you help us out here? Right, her name is Leah. Oh yeah, well ain't that sweet. Well then, Leah. Uh, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. Ball throwing and the like, you know? And I got just the thing prepared for you. Follow me. Okay, the, the timing of that ping was a bit ominous. Yeah, also... I really like the anim the minor animations they have, uh, all the faces and all that. Yeah. Who? So, do be careful if Carla offers you a hug. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Your task is to reach the door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me, I'll just stick around and keep an eye on him. Well, I might give you some hints, if you ask nicely, you know. It's not exactly like she can ask. Oh yeah, never mind the visor, I just need this to see what you're doing. And do not worry about it for now, we will explain to it you know, to you later on. Yeah, you automatically jump off, up stuff. Easy switches. And auto jump across as well. Wait for it to catch up. Okay. Okay, red, orange walls just pass. We can't pass through, but the objects. Yeah. <clears throat> the balls we throw do. Okay, normal shots don't damage those. But charged ones do. Let's see. And let's see. Okay, that's too high up. Easy enough. From a same elevation. And that's all for this room. Nice work, girl. Okay. Entering the next stage, more switches await. Okay, multi-switch or multi-hit switch. Girl, you sure are natural with that ball thing. Girl, they are called VRPs, not balls. Ah, oh, come on, nobody calls them that anymore, you know? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Oh, I like these characters. You do feel like if you accept a hug for Carla, you might l lose your spine. 
She looks like she may give bear hugs. Okay, this one char <laughs> This one goes down as fast. Oh, hello. Miss these for a second. Okay, there we go. If the straight approach doesn't work, look for other pallets. Well done. Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. Yeah, finally, this is this one's my favorite. You can go wild on these robot mice. What? Moving target practice. Have fun, go. Oh, oh, rapid fire. Okay. I have played a little bit about this game, but I've long ago enough to forget. Like, I got a prologue on the. Okay. We need to defeat a certain amount for to fill up that thing in the middle. So keep picking on Robot Jerry. Okay, rapid fire is a lot faster, of course, but also a lot less accurate. Get back here, you. Okay, it, it makes it take longer for the item to get accurate. But if you wait long enough for it to be accurate and then rapid fire, it stays that way. Okay. Welcome to Rat's Fortress, standing in unpenetrated for centuries. Apparently somebody had a fun time putting this together. I like Hala more and more. She's awesome. Okay. Break that, break that, and just gun them down. Uh, don't do me... Um. I'll let you finish that yourself. <laughs> Ball down? Down? <laughs> um... I feel like I'm walking into the trap with that one. <laughs> when you set up yourself. Oh, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here we'll meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean these things will, in fact, attack you. Don't get me wrong. They're really easy, but still. If you do get beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. And that means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. <laughs> Just a moment, let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. <laughs> what is that face? Dash is essential in, con <clears throat> in battle, since it helps you to dodge you know, to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Ready is. Now please enter the right <clears throat> to the right in order to proceed with the ass kicking. <laughs> Okay, it's a smaller dash than we had before. Okay. Hit them with charge balls to cancel their attacks. Okay, and they glow red when they charge when they're charging. Okay. Nice visual indicator. Okay, we only have three dodges uh, at the time. There we go. It's a bit short range, but I'm presuming it gives Im immunity. Yes, that was awesome, girl. So, okay, you won't, you weren't kidding. She so really got a knack for it. Yeah, that sure takes me back. Okay. If you like this room, you're gonna love the next one. Trust me. Hey, champ. Uh, get your adrenaline down again for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. I see, that got your attention. So, okay, you finished? Yes, unlocking virtual proximity impact now. AKA melee. Great, with those close combat strikes, called VPI, you're gonna quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. <coughs> 
Only the close ones, of course. You got that? Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing the path for us, will you? Okay. Okay, so when we're when we're standing still, we use the blade. Okay. It, it looks like it's chakra. Chakram? That's the word, I think. Wait there uh, for another sec. Go ahead. Uh, I didn't get a shot to see it. Uh, can't confirm. Okay, I'll just do a few more attacks in a second. Yeah, yeah, I know. A second wait is an attack wasted. Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. So you can't just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get him. Yep. I was too fast for the text there. Okay, right, so I see that. Yeah, that might be a chakram. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chakram. Standard <laughs> VPI wasn't modeled after Boston. Just mighty pants. So, if I'm right, you're supposed to throw them. Boxing gladiator. <laughs> now look, look at all those cowards ganging up on you. In fact, keep moving and strike fast. Eh? And I, I, I got it a bit wrong. I was thinking of this control stick that they were talking about. <laughs> there we go. Melee also breaks, breaks, breaks blocks. Blech. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it is about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is. But let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Good idea. Let's not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah. Right this way. Alright, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leah, just a heads up, the captain's kind of grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. <laughs> yep, I'm back with the report. I see, go on. Initiation? A total sense. Here's the avatar. Name's Leah. Aye, hard to miss that, lass. Hope you didn't run into anything with those horns on. The horns there. Wait, don't tell me you didn't know the horns till now, Leah. <laughs> anyway, make sure you uh, you clean up the mess you started uh, in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. Hope Sorga is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a second to set up your headset. Hello there, Jet. My good man, it, it's been a long time. Indeed. You're still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You know I'd never travel in the sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you, you, you two will be ready for, to travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Decap? <laughs> Which kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, ain't we talking to Jat's former VRP dueling champ? You keep telling us all, all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leo a small combat lesson. You're telling me that you know, we lass is up for battle? Oh, you bet she is. Right, we'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're dismissed. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't just stir up in trouble. Alright, Captain. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a bit of an Iris accent or something with the ye instead of ya. <clears throat> Come on, Leo. Let's find some. It's, it's time for some fresh air. 
I'm off my board, the MS Solar. <laughs> Start the ship, huh? You know the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond uh, below the uh, beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Rumpus Square. Yeah, it's something to look at. Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leah there? Seeing Rumpus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Yeah, good thinking, Sergey. And Sergey, come on, Leah. Down. There she is, the Avatar. And she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Looks like you got your first fan, Leo. <laughs> hey there, Carla. Good to see you. About all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean it up. But uh, right now, I have to take care of the avatar, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. <laughs> Great expressions. There she goes again. She's like exactly the same thing yesterday. Spearomancer. So awesome. Now it's this way. It's a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me. Well, uh, what were all those destructible boxes doing in that room, anyway? I was just practicing how to use those things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. <laughs> now go, have a look at this. Okay, where to start? How about... Welcome to Crossworlds. One step at a time, Carla. Yeah, do you remember the concept of an MMO? That's easy enough. Alright. Now, Crossworlds is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to these worlds through special avatars. These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Liam, are currently logged into this game as well. Oh, me? No, I'm just... I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossroads. Our short game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be, go <laughs> you'll be going to that glass palace of a city over there. That's Rumbus Square. It's where all players start. And that's the timer. Let's finish this off. <laughs> Noon is happy. Yeah. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then. I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and try to set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water, girl. Yeah, this is an easy case of spot the enemy your protagonist. By the way, Leah, I had a close look at those speech recognition synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I'll be able to fix them soon. However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio panels into your speech module. And that means you will be able to say certain words. That should help a bit, correct? So, let us try it out. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> it works. That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. 
As you can see, this game is just brimming with charm. Yeah. I can see you streaming this. I already love all characters, especially Kala. Problem due to be, be most, she's the one we had the most uh, fun Stranger. interaction with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to stream this one sooner or later. I, I'm getting big Iconoclast vibes from this game. I kinda agree with you there. Um, well, we both loved Iconoclasts. So, yeah, and combined with all the good we've heard about this, definitely. Yeah. And, okay, there's, a, there's an audio log for this as well. That is also nice. Also something in here... We can uh, change the text speed. It's. R I think I only once or twice had to use a log for a rare case where I accidentally double clicked or something. Does it give Game Sense? Steel Series Engine 3 should be enabled? The heck is Game Sense? <laughs> hmm. But yeah, this. This is not just a yes, this is a hell yes on the list. But Good to hear. We have, well, we have one more game ready, but we've already crossed two hours. So, yeah, we'll have to call it here. Also, Rumbus, or however you're supposed to say that word, I think that's a part of the brain. We've There's also the that's uh, mid-game of Psychonauts. Uh, Psychonauts in the Rumbus of Ruin or something like that. And, yeah, I think that's, I think that it is a part of the brain. Uh, yeah. Is it cloud for my... Oh, wait, I think of, of Nimbus, perhaps. Yeah. I, I do like that it automatically Stop adjusts. Stop flashing! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm... I am going to have to set the... Uh, <clears throat> the screen with this manually each time, pro hope, probably. Hopefully not... Well, maybe I can force it some way to just be a, <laughs> a good resolution. And you're welcome, Noon. Uh, yeah, that's Showcase Sunday for today. So let's see. Uh, <clears throat> let's recap. Craft the Worlds, nice enough game. Not great, not terrible, but not really something for streaming. Uh, crawl, definitely a yes for like party streams or something like that. <laughs> just imagine that we had that with two CPUs. Imagine just a full squad of four going at it. <laughs> <laughs> With me just on the set, just watching the badass and just going full sports commentator on you all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be a bl better Blood Bowl than the newest Blood Bowl. Oh, I already heard about that news. Oh, good yeah. gods. And then we have Creeper World 4. From what all I've heard, a good game. Not much for streaming the way we do, though. Uh, since, yeah, we need to... We need to big start a big ass list of topics to discuss on the side whilst I'm doing uh, whilst I'm busy with that. Yeah, it, and we'd run out of things quick. It, I think it is. If Helian gets another job that allows him to do YouTube videos easier, then maybe, <clears throat> maybe. Yeah, I could also do. I could also record those on days that I we don't stream, like rest days or. When the times just don't match up with appointments or such. Uh, if you want uh, to be true. part of that, of course. I could also uh, do them solo. Well, depending on game, I would probably want to be a, a week there. Uh, with yeah. the grammar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grammar, something we both fail at. <clears throat> yeah. Then we have The Crew 2. Uh, looks good as a racing game. Not really our style, though. Yeah, toss it to the sea. <laughs> uh, Cross of the Dutchman by recommendation, yes. well, by request of <laughs> Rakir, that is a yes. Yes! And, well, we already said cross code. Yes! I, I think I'm actually going, I'm going to move you directly down here to just have you installed and ready for whenever we find the time. We have a bit of a schedule going at the moment with just a few blocks of games, like Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider. After that, I have Prince of Persia and some other games planned. But once we're done with that, or if we have a spot where we need to fill something in, we could put CrossCode in there. Yeah, and also install what? Me? 
no, I keep the game installed. Typically, I just you know, uninstall them after this because there's not much reason to keep them around after we've shown them. Yeah, all right, but you <laughs> said I just keep you installed. This may caught me off guard. Wait, wait, who? Uh, I said that as I was moving the icon over. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, for now, though, uh, let's go look for someone to raid. <clears throat> Also, that rem you know, that reminds me, I I have kind of come forgotten about this, but we did say that we would eventually uh, move to YouTube. But uh, yeah, as obviously, since it's now March and we were going to do that at New Year's or uh, some around then, that hasn't happened yet. Uh, mostly because, uh, yeah, I don't think there is, I don't think you can raid or such in uh, on YouTube's platform with uh, the, <clears throat> with live streams. And, I didn't know that. It could be that there is a way to do it, but I don't know any of it. <clears throat> I've, at the very least, I've never heard of it. So for streaming, mostly we'll pro we'll stick with Twitch as is. Uh, yeah, I I still have my issues with Twitch, like the whole thing that I we said we were going to move over in the first place, like that horrible show they had or conference they had where people actually freaking broke their spines because they were just other idiots with a foam, well, to call it a pit would be a, <laughs> it would be a compliment it didn't deserve. Uh, but yeah, just uh, like with uh, videos on the internet, it, you mostly only have of YouTube, so you're kind of being held hostage by that fact that there aren't really any good alternatives. Yeah, so we still be stream on Twitch, but we'll move the videos to YouTube since, well, the Twitch doesn't keep them for long, even shorter the damn bloody damn thing. Yeah, and unless I forget to just process and upload this video after this, we should be up to you know, <clears throat> we should be up to date with the uh, vods on YouTube as well. I, yeah, I keep freaking forgetting that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, do you're being getting up to date more often than usual. Yeah, the last time I had like half a year of videos to <laughs> add on to it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you did. <clears throat> okay, for now though, I'll change over the view screen or this bleh, 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 screen share. I meant to say there to the browser. Uh, double check that Twitch is muted, so I don't accidentally get anyone else's audio and let's see we have redacted cat who is streaming power slave exhumed which is a remake slash remaster of an old uh, boomer shooter like a uh, <clears throat> uh, think uh -oh. doom but more advanced with i, I think RPG i know stuff. the game did cv11 play it um i mean i, I, I made I a think... review of it uh, some uh, some month ago uh, it could be, could be, could have been Civi, could have been G-Man Lives. I think I've seen about two uh, reviews of it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next up, we have I'm Nice, who is uh, streaming Monster Hunter World. Sour Walrus streaming Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Dogged Douglas McDog is streaming Tomb Raider as usual. They are still doing that challenge that they're doing. Currently, they are on Tomb Raider three. It seems adventures of Lara Croft. Uh, what did they're doing? <clears throat> they're doing charity streams, doing a challenge like uh, no saves, no heals to get through the entire game. Of course, that does get them killed every time, but then they just have to restart the entire game. Uh, we have WBPL76 uh, streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Horatius the Dwarf is just chatting at the moment not sure what they are streaming it doesn't really say in the title we have uh okay from there it gets a bit bigger than i really want to rate like over 100 plus watchers at the moment any of those sound interesting or shall we look at the recommended let's look at the recommended okay we have skylord zoe streaming overcooked 2 dark eden 21 doing Okay, I'm I'm guessing that's a tabletop. Yeah, that that's their that they're streaming their tabletop. 
Uh, Solrock Martin streaming Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. Okay, it looks like they're on Shiny Hunt, going by the title. Chronolus streaming Space Engineers. And Wabella Balam. I think I finally got that right on the first try. They're streaming Seven Days to Die. And Wolf Machina is streaming Grand Theft Auto V. Any of those, or shall I take a pick? Hmm. You know what? I'll let you take a peek at this uh, this time. Okay, I'm thinking Redacted Cats with uh, Power Slave Exhumed. Be in agreement, <laughs> I was pondering on that as well. <laughs> okay, being a mind reader again, it seems. Okay, it looks like they're on their BRB, but we can go raid all the same. So just copy over their name, because I don't <laughs> trust my, uh, my fingers as much. Uh, any more than I would trust my own memory or my tongue. Yeah. Someone's going to clip that out of context. <laughs> Slash raid and paste. And uh, yeah, before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Noon and Big Trucker for watching along and <laughs> chatting a bit. So I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you're still safe on the road, Trucker. And yeah, also thanks to Ram for showing up. Even if it was short, he's always appreciated. And I should probably try and get that avatar in place before an evening stream, if we are going to have an evening stream, because it's the typical thing of uh, it's a Sunday, so it's either dinner at our place or at the aunt and uncle's. It's a thing we've been going for like as long as I <laughs> think I can remember. <clears throat> Whoa. And... <clears throat> yeah, it, it's uh, one week at theirs, the uh, next at ours, and on and on. Just go back and forth. <clears throat> uh, anyways, and as always, thank you as well, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, let's start the raids. And let's see. We have done... Have we done two Indiana Jones... I think we have done two Indiana Jones streams in a row. So, Sideshow next, and you requested Contrast? Yes, Contrast. <laughs> okay, that'll provide quite the well, contrast to Indiana Jones, being a lot more modern and such, and colorful. <laughs> well, not too colorful, but still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For now, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for monsters. Oh, right, I could have done that. <laughs>